let's create a simple interactive report. Log in to Google Data Studio and select a blank report. You will be asked to select a data source that you want to use. Please select the data source that we created in the previous video and click Add. If you want to use a different data source, you can select the pencil icon in the data source section. Then, you can use the options to change the data source properties as you like. As I don't want to change anything, I am going to click Cancel. Let's add some more data to this table. From the sidebar you can choose additional metrics and dimensions to add more detail to your reports. When you select new data, 2-minute reports will fetch new data from your data source and update your report automatically. Now let's add a date control to the report. This allows your users to control the date range of data in the published report. You can see the data update itself as we change the dates in the date control. To keep the report clean even when editing, Let's remove the grids from the view menu. Now, let's go crazy and fill this report with all types of charts that we can get. You can modify the data in a chart by clicking on it and modifying its dimensions and metrics from the right sidebar. Let's add a few more charts. Let's add a title by selecting the A icon from the toolbar. I am going to name this, My Facebook Report. To change the look and feel of this title or any chart, we can use the Style section on the right sidebar. Here you get a lot of options to customize the colors, font style, alignment, background, borders, size, etc. to create the report look clean to your liking. Once you are happy with the report, you can click the view icon and see how the published report will look like for your users. Since we added a date range control, users will be able to modify the date range and see the data they like. Thanks for watching, please feel free to look at our knowledge base for more information.